Welcome to One Minute Theatre Reviews. I'm Paul Seven Lewis, and today I'm reviewing Tom Stoppard's A Separate Piece, which was broadcast live online on May the 2nd, 2020. The Remote Read is an exciting project born out of the coronavirus lockdown. The producers, Curtain Call, are intending to bring together actors in their own homes via Zoom, which I'm using to record this uh, review for live performances of plays. The first was a separate piece. Proceeds, you have to buy a ticket, uh, go to the Felix Project, a charity which helps vulnerable people in need of food. Well, whether for this reason or simply that they're glad of something to do, a stellar cast assembled for this half hour production, led by the wonderful David Morrissey, all soft-spoken and twinkly-eyed. I didn't know the play. Um, it was written for television back in 1966, about the time of Tom Stoppard's first theatrical hit, Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are Dead. It owes something, I think, to Pinter and Beckett in that a mysterious man, John Brown, played by David Marcy, arrives at an anonymous nursing home in the country. There's nothing wrong with him, but he has a suitcase of cash he just wants to stay there, being looked after and doing nothing. The staff take him in, but even though he's in no way sinister or even difficult, they cannot resist finding out who he is and trying to help him. So the play's about the right to privacy, our inability to leave someone alone without wanting to know more or do what we think is best for them, and society's discomfort with people who do nothing. This is a very good play uh, with some excellent dialogue. Um, for example, it's not good for you what you're doing, says one of the staff. You mean it's not good for you, says Brown. The staff were played by Denise Goff as the doctor, um, Ed Stoppard as the matron, Maggie Service as a nurse, and Jenna Coleman, who was Nurse Maggie Coates, uh, the only other character given a full name. She was the one who befriended John Brown, and the subtle way she conveyed her liking of him and her wrestling with her conscience as she ultimately betrayed him was outstanding. So how did it work on Zoom? Well, quite well, actually, and that, I'm sure, is thanks to director Sam Yates. Now, the actors might have been positioned sideways so that they appeared to be talking to each other, but instead, they all faced the camera. And this was curiously effective. With both actors looking at you, while they talked to each other, it was as if you were invisible but standing in the middle of these two-way conversations. The actors uh, in simple black tops were placed against white backgrounds, uh, which cut out any distractions from bookcases or trophies or whatever actors have in their homes. Now, the only problem is that Zoom works with some kind of facial recognition when you use a background, so there can be distortion and blurring, as you can see. But that's a minor point. Uh, and it was clever that as John Brown painted a mural in his room, that the countryside scene gradually replaced his white background, indicating perhaps that he was receiving the calm of isolation that he craved. And the editing was very smooth as actors appeared and disappeared, very much like entrances and exits on a stage. But it was more akin to a television program than a stage show. But even so, it was very exciting that it was live and as i understand it unrecorded so there was a real sense of being at a unique event this was billed as a reading but apart from someone looking down occasionally it came across as a well-prepared and well-acted performance i give a separate piece four stars and look forward to more from the reading room I hope you found this review uh, useful and interesting. If you did, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, One Minute Theatre Reviews, or read my reviews uh, at oneminutetheatrereviews.co.uk. Thank you for watching.